What's good guys, welcome back to John's Kitchen. My name is Kamal. On this channel, we focus on making beautiful food from around the world and showing you guys the easiest way to reproduce it at home. So if that sounds good, then you may want to consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest, most tasty, delicious mac and cheese at home. It's going to be very easy, so just follow along with the steps and you can use this beautiful dish anytime you want. So to make this recipe, you're going to need to get yourself some butter, baby pasta, I call it mac and cheese pasta, but anyway, creme fraiche, flour, white pepper, garlic, and two types of cheese. I'm gonna be using some cheddar cheese, and I'm also gonna be using something that's a bit more mild, that's gonna be mozzarella. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is grab yourself a medium-sized pot. In that pot, you wanna add the butter and melt it slowly on a medium heat. Once the butter is all melted, you wanna add the flour and you wanna make a roux. A roux is a white sauce made with milk or even cream sometimes, flour and butter. It's actually that simple and it's a base for a lot of traditional French sauces. But a quick tip, if you want to add a bit more flavor to your mac and cheese, you can continue cooking flour and butter base until it starts to turn a bit of a golden brown color and the flavor produced from that will add a nice nutty flavor to your mac and cheese. You want to add the liquid in probably about two to three steps. Add it a little bit first, mix it in and you'll instantly see that your mix starts to become thick like a thick paste. So at that point, you wanna add some more of the liquid, mix it in again. I prefer to use a whisk because it's a bit easier to make sure that I mix it properly. Once all the liquid has been mixed in well, you formed yourself a nice sauce. This At this point is when I add the seasonings. For this, I'm gonna be keeping it super simple. So once I've added my pepper and my garlic, then I can add my cheese. Give that a good mix. You wanna mix it for at least a couple minutes on probably a low heat, just to make sure that your cheese actually melts properly. So for me, once the cheese is melted, then I'll also add the creme fraiche. Then my sauce is good to go, ready to be mixed with the pasta. So for the pasta that we're using, you can see the shape is actually pretty small. You want to make sure that you don't cook your pasta too much when boiling at this point. For me, the best way to do it is to cook your pasta in salted boiling water. You don't want to cook it for any more than three minutes. Three minutes is more than enough time. Once you strain your pasta, you might think that your pasta is still raw, but just remember that once you actually mix it with the hot cheese sauce and then you place it into the oven, it's going to continue cooking. And I actually like to make sure that I still have a bit of bite in my pasta, you know, a little bit of al dente. Once the time is up and the pasta is done, you want to strain the pasta. Leave it to sit in the sink just to make sure that all the excess water drips off because if you have any water left for the pasta and then you mix it with your cheese sauce, it will make your sauce very loose and you will not have a good end result. So now you want to combine your bechamel or cheese sauce if you want to call it that because it has a lot of cheese at this point. Grab yourself a medium sized bowl, mix it all together, make sure you mix it well. Then you want to place all of that into a container that you're going to actually bake it into. So I have an oven proof glass dish which we're going to be using. It's perfect for the recipe that I'm doing right now. You can use whatever you want including a bowl just make sure that's actually oven proof or oven safe before using it at this point you can go crazy with the cheese and add as much as you want so sprinkle the cheese nice and evenly on top and then also I have a bit of parmesan so I grate that over the top and that will help to give it a nice golden brown color while baking now you want to bake your mac and cheese in a preheated oven around 190 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes so basically once I get a nice golden brown color on the top that's it it's good to go and it's time to take it out of the oven I mean, listen to that sizzle when it comes out of the oven. I mean, is there anything more satisfying than that? Beautiful, honestly, beautiful. At this point, you do not want to dig into it straight away because you will burn that absolute out of your tongue. I mean, tell me, who doesn't love a good mac and cheese? I know for us, we like having a good mac and cheese on a Sunday or have it as a side dish with a steak. You can't go wrong with a tasty mac and cheese. Now that's it from me. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you managed to stay around to the end. If you like this video, give it a like and then smash the subscribe button. So that's it from me. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you here for the next one. Peace guys. And also, if you like your mac and cheese to be very cheesy, I would suggest is adding more cheese into the actual, into the actual, I would suggest is add, add it. I would suggest that. Oh,